Hello and welcome to New Fast Food. There is a ton of fast food news that's come out over the past week. Uh, seriously, uh, there's a news from all the major fast food chains. We've got the new burger at McDonald's, new sandwich over at Wendy's, new bread over at Subway. Burger King dropped like four new things over the past week. Um, not to mention new test items over at Taco Bell um, and the Deli Trio Panito coming back over at Jack in the Box, uh, the, which I'm very excited about. The last time the Deli Trio Panito was on the menu at Jack in the Box, I was in college. I ate a lot of, of those things um, back in college, so it, it brought back a lot of fond memories to see the Deli Trio Panito back at Jack in the Box. So yeah, a ton of fast food news uh, has come out over the past week, um, but actually this video is not meant to talk about any of that. This video is to announce that my channel will be going on an extended hiatus starting now. Um, so I'm gonna break down the reasons why I'm gonna be going on break. I'm gonna let you know what the future holds for this channel. Um, and I'm gonna let you know how you can still see new content uh, from me even during uh, this break. Um, and also, since last video I promised there would be some Taco Bell news in my next video, I will cover um, that bit of Taco Bell news at the end of this video, so stay tuned uh, for that. All right, so let's go full screen here, maybe give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look at how things uh, operate here at uh, New Fast Food. Um, as you can see, my background, which a lot of people uh, like to watch my hands flail around in, um, is just a, a post board taped to the wall. Um, and you'll notice as we go through here that I'll be looking over to the left, that's where I keep my notes. Um, so, um, you know, now you know how things kind of work over here at New Fast Food. All right, like I said, since I started this channel, this has probably been the busiest week for fast food news that I've seen yet. Um, but it's also been one of the busiest weeks in my personal life uh, that I've seen since, since I started this channel as well. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, the majority of the time that I've had this channel, my wife has been pregnant uh, with our second baby. She's due on New Year's Eve, so we're very close and we're very busy with all the, uh, the baby prep. Um, and I know that uh, work will not stop once the baby is born, uh, so uh, this channel will be going on an indefinite hiatus um, until things start to calm down around here. Um, I do expect that this will be a long break. Um, I started this channel when my firstborn was about eight months old. Uh, and I'm not sure that I could have started it much sooner than that. Um, I remember being very busy, um, especially in the evenings, which of course is, is uh, when I film these videos because I work during the day. Um, so I, you know, I anticipate being even busier now with, uh, with two babies on my hands. Um, I, I, so I do, ex I do expect this to be a long break. I know you, you're probably familiar with you know, some YouTubers that are out there um, that have a baby and just continue to, to crank out videos um, you know, with, without breaking stride. Uh, that will not be me. Um, I do look at myself as you know, a really family-oriented person, and I want to spend as much time uh, bonding with the baby um, and as much time uh, giving help to my wife as I can uh, during, during this time. Um, I, I would like to make some special edition videos uh, during this break, um, and hopefully I'll have time to, to create those, uh, but, but it will likely be several months um, until I start making uh, news videos on a regular basis again. Uh, but I will return at some point, so it is more important than ever that you subscribe to my channel and click the uh, notification bell. Uh, this way, uh, you won't have to keep checking back to see if I've started making videos again. You'll automatically receive a notification, um, so you won't have to worry about that. And also, if, if you regular, regularly watch my videos, um, but you aren't subscribed, you probably just see my videos pop up in your in your home feed, uh, whenever you call it. Um, you know, after I go on a break for an extended period of time, YouTube, you know, they may forget that you like to watch my videos and they may, they may not put my videos back into your home feed uh, when I return. The only way to ensure that you'll be uh, notified uh, that I've come back is if you are a subscriber uh, and you have, I've your notifications turned on by clicking the little, the little bell symbol. 
Um, I hate a lot of people asking me if it's uh, what the cost is to subscribe. It's there's no cost. It's free. All you do is you click the subscribe button and then you're subscribed. There is no charge at all. It's completely free. Um, so please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn notifications on so that way. Um, when I return from this hiatus, you will be notified. All right, now during this break, there will still be a way uh, for you to watch uh, new fast food news content from me. Um, the way to do that uh, is that I have started making uh, a recurring guest appearance on a live streaming TV show. The show is called The Paul Merrill Show, and you can watch it on StreamShift TV. Dot com. Now, there's new episodes every weekday, I believe. Uh, they air from like 8 to 10 Eastern Time. It's a live show, so that's actually 5 to 7 Pacific Time. Um, I appear on select Thursdays. So not every Thursday, but on certain Thursdays, I appear usually towards the end of the show. And when I'm on, we just talk about fast food news for about 20 minutes. It's really, really a lot of fun. Uh, the show in general, they, you know, they, just, they, they do a lot of commentary on viral videos, news stories, sports stuff. Um, so it's, it's actually a pretty fun show uh, to watch as well. And then when I'm on there, I, ha I have a ton of fun. Uh, if you enjoy um, my discussions of fast food news on this YouTube channel, I'll definitely like um, my discussions with Paul uh, about fast food on The Paul Merrill Show. Um, so you can watch episodes of the Paul Merrill show on demand 24 seven on streamshifttv.com. And to find out when I'll be appearing on the show, uh, follow me on Twitter where I'll be announcing my appearances ahead of time. Uh, so it's a live show. So you'll want to tune in at just the right time, um, to, to catch my fast food segment. Um, all right. Now with all that stuff out of the way, uh, let's move on to this Taco Bell news, uh, that I'm excited to share with you. Back in September, um, I reported that starting December 27th, which is coming up just two days after Christmas, uh, Taco Bell will bring back the Naked Chicken Chalupa alongside a new $1 burrito. Now, at that time, I didn't know what the burrito was going to be, uh, but now livingmoss.com is reporting uh, that there will actually be two new $1 burritos debuting on December 27th. Uh, they're calling them the Grande Burritos, um, there's two versions. There's a three cheese nacho version and also a chicken enchilada version. Uh, the three, three cheese nacho version comes with beef, nacho cheese, red crunchy strips, um, a three cheese uh, shredded cheese blend, um, and sour cream. The enchilada, a chicken enchilada version comes with shredded chicken, rice, red sauce, cheddar cheese, um, and sour cream. Now, I actually covered these grande burritos back in May when they were in their testing phase, they look like they're exactly the same ones that I covered back then. Um, and you may remember from back then that I gave these very high remarks uh, when it came to value, uh, which I still agree with. I think that uh, for a dollar, uh, these uh, grande burritos are very much an incredible value. Um, but I did get something wrong uh, in my predictions. Basically, I, I predicted uh, that even though these burritos were testing together, uh, that they would probably, um, if they ever came to a nationwide market, uh, that they'd probably split them up. Uh, and that basically just because um, they seemed so different to me. And, and, the, and the name Grande Burrito doesn't really tie them together in any meaningful way, at least. Um, but, you know, obviously, they're coming nationwide, and they're still linked together. They're still coming out at the same time, and they're still called Grande Burritos, so I, I got that one. Um, terribly wrong. If anybody can come up with a connection of the Grande name that links these two together, um, I'd love to know. I mean, obviously Grande means large, so but I, I don't think that these burritos are necessarily on the larger side for Taco Bell burritos. So, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure how they're getting that name. If anyone has any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Um, anyway, these are coming out uh, December 27th alongside the Naked Chicken Chalupa. Now, when I reported this back in September, um, I noted that it was kind of strange that they were bringing back the Naked Chicken Chalupa so soon um, after it was just on the menu, just as a promotional item, about six months ago. We've seen that there's usually um, at least a year in between uh, times when the Naked Chicken Chalupa is on the menu. So it was very odd uh, that it was coming back just six months after it was on the menu last. At that time, we really didn't understand uh, why that might be. Uh, but since then, uh, we've learned that the chicken prices are at historical lows. Um, so it really makes sense that Taco Bell would want to bring back 
the naked chicken chalupa as soon as possible um, so they can take advantage of these low, low chicken prices that, that uh, are available right now. Again, all this information is coming from the website livingmoss.com. Be sure to check them out. Uh, they're a great website. They've got Taco Bell news that they post twice a week. Um, definitely check them out. All right, so that's today's fast food news. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Remember to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and watch me on streamshifttv.com during this upcoming hiatus. And, as always, you can watch more videos right now.